Hello, hello. Uh, this is Prophet West. Hey, I'm coming back once again for another uh, prophetic utterance, prophetic utterance for the beginning of the year. And I just want to add a little more to uh, what God is saying in this season. And if I can talk to you briefly, if I can, um, uh, stand still, stand still and hear what God is saying first, because in this season, God is releasing instructions. He's re releasing instructions on the assignment that he has for you. Because so in this particular hour, God wants you to be quiet. He wants your spirit to be quiet where you can hear what he's saying. And he wants you to filter emotions from him. Because God said, my sheep know my voice and a stranger won't, he won't follow. That means emotions, hurts and all of that. Those things, fears, they have voices. And so God wants you to differentiate between those things and him. See, because when he speaks, he's going to speak in peace. He's going to speak in love. And he's not coming accusing. He's not talking about someone negative. See, but when God comes, he comes to deliver you, the whole man, body, soul and spirit now check this out this is a prophetic word this is our like i was saying earlier this morning how god was bringing things and causing things to happen causing deliverance how he uh in april how it was the jewish uh, calendar it was the the month of abib how uh how they acknowledged and god acknowledged the first month of the year was april and the reason for the significance of that was because of the passover but also of the children of israel returning or leaving bondage leaving egypt many of you you are, you have left bondage you're leaving bondage you're leaving those places that has had you bound hurt and stuck and many of you you're still stuck but god is saying you're about to become loose you are about to become liberated. And so the prophetic word specifically that I want to speak to you, one word is restoration. Matthew 17 and 11, disciples uh, was asking Jesus, when would destruction come with Elijah? Who would come first? And Jesus would let them know that Elijah, the spirit of Elijah would come first. Elijah would come first. And the purpose in the last days, because the Bible said, if the spirit, if the spirit of Elijah, if Elijah doesn't come, then God would smite the earth with a smite the earth with a curse. But to hold back the curse, God is sending Elijah, the spirit of Elijah. That's the spirit of restoration to restore. And see, this is what God is doing. God is restoring you. This is the hour. This is the hour. This is the quarter. The beginning. 2019 restoration uh, order. Uh, deliverance breakthroughs. This particular month, this particular hour, this particular year, this is your year of order. This is your year of deliverance. This is also your year of restoration. What is restoration? To restore something that was lost. To restore something, to repair something to its original form. God is going to repair or restore things in your life back to its original form. Relationship, relational. God is going to restore your marriage back to its original form. Your heart has been broken. God is going to restore your heart back to its original form. The Bible said God's going to take the stony heart out and go in there and give it a heart of flesh. And once you have that heart of flesh, then you're able to feel. And then you're able to feel, then you're able to receive. See, many of you, you can't receive from God because your heart is still hurt. It's still hot. It's still covered up with all kind of stuff. See, but God is removing debris. God is removing all of that, that he can speak into your heart and restore you. What the locust and the canker worm has eaten up. What was taken from you. What was eaten up. What was devoured many, many years ago. Yesterday, last week, last month, last year, 10, 20 years ago. God is saying that I'm going to take that. What the locust and the canker worms, the locust, the locust, the locust that devour. Uh, the canker worm that devoured all those things that been eaten away, eaten away like a cancer at those things that you work so hard for, eaten away at your confidence, eaten away at your joy, eaten away at your hope and your dreams. All of those things that the, that the enemy, that the adversary, that the wicked one took away, that 
king, man. Wow, you was wild man slept when in that situation where, where where you got angry, that situation where you weren't paying attention. Well, that's when the enemy came in and brought brought destruction. He brought confusion. He brought doubt. He brought disbelief. See, but God is God. God, the Bible said, if the enemy be caught, he must repay seven times. And I come to let you know that the enemy has been caught and God is saying to pursue, 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 because, because, because you are going to recover, restore, recover all, recover, recover, keep focusing and keep speaking faith. Keep speaking faith. This is your season. This is your season. This is your hour to receive uh, God's maximum. And you're about to receive God's choicest blessing. God is handcrafted and handpicked what he has for you for such a time as this restoration is coming. God bless you.